You're listening to Podmas, an opportunity to have a festive catch up with some of the fabulous members of the Small and Supercharged Mastermind Group. On today's episode of Podmas, we are joined by Ali, Tiffany, and Nikki, all members of the Mastermind Group, obviously. Um, I would love them to tell you a little bit about themselves and also their businesses. So, Ali, should we start with you? Oh, go on then. Um, I'm, I'm Ali. I'm based in the Isle of Man and um, I have a lot going on. But at the minute, I am working with um, Enchanting Pastimes, which is um, handmade, uh, knitted and crocheted uh, Christmas decorations. Perfect for Podmas. But you also do, a, like you're such a busy lady. You do so much stuff. Tell us a bit about some of the other stuff you do as well. Uh, okay, so the um, <clears throat> the other side business is a uh, centaur line equestrian, uh, where we hand make uh, leather items, uh, mainly for the horse industry, but uh, it's definitely not limited to that. Um, the uh, all the techniques used are um, widely in demand uh, on the island. We've done all sorts of uh, random things like archery um face masks uh and you know uh, oh, the most recent weird one was a prosthetic leg uh strap i didn't know they came with a belt but apparently they didn't there was a man that was desperate to be able to walk on his prosthetic leg uh, and needed his uh, belt adjusting <laughs> so does it makes sense i haven't really thought of it before no, um, neither did I. I it was it was it was quite interesting getting the phone call when he said, well, what it is, is my, I've got a problem with my prosthetic leg. And I was like, I'm not even sure where this is going right now. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Tiffany, tell us about you and your business. Uh, so, uh, yeah, my business is Lady Bridge Leatherworks. So I'm a another person creating um, leather items for uh, horses and dogs and humans although it has to be said I haven't had any of the weird and wonderful requests that Ali has had um <laughs> I'm just gonna put that there um yeah so yeah I'm in North Wiltshire um yeah Lady Bridge Leatherworks and I, I've also started branching into doing some upcycling um so taking items of tack and and other stuff that that we have with our horses and transforming them into into new things and um yeah memorial stuff and just useful stuff just to try and reduce a bit of waste and make make nice things for people yeah definitely and they are beautiful we have had the luxury and the pleasure of seeing them in the group just say poor Ali I know obviously I'm sure anyone listening here who's horsey who understands the other applications for leather type harnesses in the wider world poor Ali gets a little bit of stick from the sin mastermind but you know it's so yeah just um I wasn't going to go there. I just, wasn't going to go there, but you did. I, I had to because <laughs> Tiffany and Nikki were about to do. <laughs> I don't even know what was happening, but their faces were just amazing. So, Nikki, tell us about you and your businesses various. You're another one with multi businesses, too. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I am Nikki Sutcliffe and I run Sport Horse Select, which is a livery yard in Yorkshire. And I also have two Airbnbs that we have on our beautiful farm, uh, a shipping container converted into uh, like a lodge and a shepherd's hut. And I also make the Echo Travel Safe, which is a harness that helps prevent horses from rearing over the breast bar in the horse box or onto lockers in the horse box. So it keeps them safe while they're traveling. Brilliant. So we so today's Podmas then. We have got a few questions, then we've got a quiz round. And I'm excited for the quiz round. I'm going to tell you now to start thinking about the buzzer noise you're going to make because honestly, I did one and the people were amazing. The next one, if you're listening, your buzzer choices were poor. So I want this one to be better. So think about it now whilst we move on. So the first thing is, are you more of an elf or a Grinch? Do you love Christmas or do you loathe it? Tiffany. Oh, why did you have to come to me first? I reckon we're going to be on the same wavelength here. I'd say I'm an elf, but Christmas is difficult for me um, because um, I'm an only child and I've lost both my parents and I lost them uh, in November. It, it was years ago that I lost them um, and my mum was a massive Christmas fan. So it's a Christmas is very, it can be a very bittersweet time for me. 
So I am an elf, but there, there's always a little bit. It's not Grinch. It's not Grinchiness. It's just that there's um, there's people missing. Fair enough. No, that makes perfect sense. Nikki, what about you? I am definitely an elf, but I just wish Christmas was in summer when I could enjoy it because it's quite hard fitting it in in the winter at the shortest days of the year when you've got 18 horses to look after. Wow. <laughs> Covered in mud. And yeah, I just wish it was in summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's not that's a lot of horses when you're trying to be festive. Yeah. I would I would I am more the Grinch, definitely. Um, Ali, what about you? Oh, 100 percent an elf. I knew you'd be an elf. I knew it. Because you you love like the crafting and all of that side of Christmas, don't you as well? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been I've been getting festive since the beginning of September, so love that i love that um what christmas products should people buy from you what do you sell that people need to be buying from you start with nikki i'm gonna say what about a nice weekend away brilliant uh, either the apple crate or the cherry tub and not a, just a nice bit of snow on the ground looking over the fields with the fire on the fire pit going yeah bit of mulled wine happy no that does sound a very very good christmas gift mm. ali what should people buy from you at the minute it's got to be the uh christmas decorations so you've just started this side yep. business haven't you? i know you've been crocheting and making amazing things for, for a long time but you've just launched this business haven't you I have, yeah. So I'm just starting to build up the range. And um, I know that this is going out just as audio, but I am going to give you guys a little sneaky peek of uh, some of the things that I've made just recently. Ooh. So I can do that now or at the end, whichever. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a look now. OK, so the cute, some of the cutest things that people seem to like are these. Oh, my gosh. Tiny, tiny <laughs> Christmas stockings. Yeah. Are you making dogs? <laughs> um I'm not sure that they would well, stay horses. on. <laughs> Can you imagine in the in the fields with the knee sleeves on? So cute. Um, I've got a little pair of mittens. Very cute. And this this is topping it for me at the most at the moment for my the cutest thing ever. Oh wow. my god. A teensy little bobble hat. Did you see Innocent Smoothies had a campaign? I don't know if they still do it for Age UK and they had these people making bobble hats for the smoothies. No. Oh, no, honestly, it was legit. It is. Yeah, Tiffany's nodding. I haven't just completely <laughs> lost my mind. It was genius. You would love it. <laughs> Excellent. If I see it if, it, if it still exists, I will take pictures. Love a small bobble hat, though. They're yeah. very, very cute. There's there's other things as well are in the making, but um I'm not ready to show those yet. Oh we'll keep our keep our eyes peeled for those. And Tiffany, what about you? I'm gonna say my um my upcycled dog lead. Okay, talk, talk to us about that. What's that actually made from? So um <laughs> long, long story short, uh, came came uh, came into possession of quite a lot of um X shop stock reins um and did you steal uh, them it sounds like no <laughs> uh basically somebody had closed down their tax shop and they were selling off bits and pieces my aunt went to her to buy a, a leather head collar and came back with the content contents of her garage um oh wow okay <laughs> so i I'm wound one. up with the load of the the reins and um yeah so as you're looking at them it's like what what am i going to do and um i have one here so it's um I don't obviously Ooh, is it that they um is it got like the rubber woven into it yeah it's it's kind of like the thin like rubber tight um rain that you would use if you're going like cross country or hunting or something and I just basically take it apart and then turn it into a dog lead and I think Nikki you've got one didn't you yeah yeah <laughs> and I love it I absolutely love it I had to then go and buy a matching harness for the dog and a matching collar so I don't like you after that but I absolutely <laughs> love my lead <laughs> to be fair because um dog leads can actually be really difficult to hold not with a handle but if you want to hold a bit lower down they can be really like um Indy's got one she's got some good ones and ones that's really slippery and you put your hand on it and it just shoots through your hand if she pulls whereas at least with that you've actually got a little bit of grip haven't you and 
I mean, it depends on the rain that I've used. Some are smooth, but most of them have the little um, bobbles Stops. in them for extra grip as well. Even so, better. And, and I keep the little martingale stop there for, you know, it was a rain. I like that. I like that so, very much. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's the nice, unique nice unique thing and yeah over the last couple of years there's been a lot of people who have who've got dogs and mm. it would be a lovely little gift for, for somebody definitely now what would you like to see under the tree from any it can be any brand in the world it can be as mad or as as boring or as exciting as you like what would you like to see under the tree and and don't think oh that wouldn't fit under a tree it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all. If you want to have a helicopter, you have a helicopter. Right. Ali, what would you like? Oh, wow. Um, um, probably a really big swanky horse box. Nice. Like that. I mean, it would be impossible to drive on the Isle of Man because the roads are really tiny and you'd never get it into any venue. But it would just be really nice to have one. Fair enough. I like a nice impractical gift. That's what we like. That's what we like. <laughs> what about you, Tiffany? um yeah ha having had to retire my horse from competition at the start of the year a, a, a horse that I could continue my dressage journey with would, would be rather nice mare or gelding it's the horse not the gender like um, you, know, you can get some you can get some geldings that are a little bit crazy you can also get some mares that are lovely um and it's the same I I am not I'm it doesn't have to be a D Dutch born blood um my my retired boy is one it's been great but yeah it it comes down to the horse and the partnership so we need a that, horse box it particularly need... with it is so competitive now you know you've got to in particularly doing dressage like you, you're paying people to tell you where you've gone wrong and and how pants you are at, at it so you, you've got to enjoy the partnership and the journey and so yeah it would be great that that would be lovely but uh yeah, it's a good guess. We've got a horse box and a horse. Go on, Nikki. What are you what are you asking for? I know that they're a bit unrealistic, but I definitely just want a mucking out fairy. That yeah, that's just, I thought it was that would also clean my house as well. So it's not just limited to the yard. I could just like give it muck that stable and it <clears throat> do a wand and then it walk in the house and float into the house, fly into the house, and that would also be clean. Love it. Yeah. So that's, yeah. I feel that's more realistic. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's <laughs> that is more realistic. A fictitious thing is <laughs> realistic. What's the best or worst present you've ever had? If you'd like to put your hand up, if you've thought of one, because sometimes, yeah, go on, Nikki. So I got my. I had a thirteen-two pony that I was training when I was younger, and then my dad bought me said pony, and the said pony was called More Than Milton. And he went on to jump for England, went to Hoy's, won Hickset, won everything. But I did have to pay my dad back for him when I sold him. He was did only £600 at the time. <laughs> did you still do all right out of the deal? Yes. <laughs> well, done. well done you. That's a very good gift. Well done, Dad, on that. <laughs> Tiffany. Sorry, are we doing worst present? No, good or bad. Because okay. that, that's a really good one. Now that Yeah, good or yeah. bad. Um, this is a bit of a comedic one. So when I was 12, I was given a pair of um, fairy blossom tights that were for seven-year-olds. What? what? And I was, I, was not a, I was not a girly girl because I was always in jeans and wellies and at the yard. So a pair of white tights with flowers on anyway. So was um, it kind of like ironic or? No. No. Just from Ooh. somebody who really didn't know me. Ooh, that, that's rough. But it's also the, it was for a child much younger than me. It, it didn't win on any level, did it there, really? No. 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 It's always stood out. No, I can see why. I can understand why. Ali, what about you? Uh, best has got to be uh, tickets to see Pink in concert in Liverpool. They, that was amazing. Oh, she's awesome. She is absolutely awesome. That's a good one. I think, I think you, you win that round, Tiffany, with the, with the most awful. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite festive drink? Tiffany? Mold wine. Good, good, strong answer. Ali? Uh, hot chocolate with cherry brandy. Ooh. Nikki? I'm not a drinker, so just good old-fashioned hot chocolate, marshmallows, squirty cream and sprinkles. 
nice sprinkles too for Christmas yeah what's the best part of a Christmas lunch Roast there's potatoes. no right or wrong for this so what, what, what did you say roast potatoes oh yes yeah with God. gravy gravy's good gravy can be a food group in its own can't it um Ali can I say everything <laughs> someone else has so yeah go on <laughs> I just like food and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all <laughs> all of the food Tiffany I I really do like like the stuff a really good um stuffing on the side of the the turkey but also pudding just my family we sort of tend to have like just two like three or four puddings nice and we just put them in the middle of the table and we just slowly have a piece of each and yeah and then, it, and then there's cheese and pork oh are they like traditional puddings like christmas pudding or do you go a little bit wayward uh there's always um there's normally some form of tribal but we tend to it it's not always like a traditional trifle um i, I did a chocolate orange trifle one year no um and what another year like a tiramis like a mocha um trifle with like a coffee and a chocolate flavored custard um oh, nice. there's normally a chocolate dessert of some form um and the, and the rest we tend to just bury i i'm i'm one of these people that as soon as like the christmas edition of good housekeeping I've, I've literally just bought it this week i i love that magazine because it's full of just um mm. christmas foodie gifts and different recipes and and all sorts so just go through there and go oh that looks good and just make it yeah, good excellent Right, we're moving on to our quiz round now, which is seven questions um, to test your Christmas knowledge. Have you thought about your sounds? Yes. Alison, what's your sound? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, what's your sound? Merry Christmas. Love it. Nikki, what's your sound? I haven't practiced this, are you ready? <laughs> oh God, okay. <laughs> right better than i thought <laughs> came out better although although to be fair so far you've got the best noises out of anyone we've had apologies if you have obviously been on the pod podmas before but so far this crew is winning that okay <laughs> so your first question is which ocean can christmas island be found in <laughs> that was the dog groaning that was the dog groaning not me merry christmas with a total guess is it pacific no. Pass. Okay, that's a. That's a. I mean, we. We have the best colours, but we're not the brightest. We're gonna have to do seven more questions because we're gonna be a tiebreaker situation. Okay, let's let's move on from that. But I obviously <laughs> over. Thingy it's the easier situation. ones, Ria. My I'll go easy. Is awful. It's okay. It's okay. Um, what is the Grinch's dog called? Oh, God. <laughs> We're too busy. We don't watch telly. I watch it all the time and I can't remember what it's called. Are you trying to stress me out, you three? <laughs> I do you not know? I, I know it. I just can't remember. It's Max. Ah. Max, you fetch me that sedative. You're going to use all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> At least you haven't had to use our buzzers. I think we need to come together to buy Rhea a quiz book for Christmas. <laughs> or us a general knowledge book. <laughs> okay. Um, in Japan, which takeaway food is traditionally eaten at Christmas? <laughs> Has anyone buzzed? Yeah, me. I just oh, buzzed. Uh, Osobuko? No. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sushi? No. <laughs> oh. Yes. McDonald's. <laughs> no, but you're getting you're getting closer. You're getting closer. <laughs> Come on, Nikki, have a guess. Burger King? Close. Uh, Wendy's. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Maria, if only people could see the look on your face. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, easy question next. Uh, Nikki, have you got an idea? No, absolutely not. What about a fast food restaurant that serves chicken? KFC? Well done, Nikki, you can have that. Oh, I win! <laughs> you can't use your buzzer. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Oh. Apparently, from my research, which I'm now doubting, but yes. <laughs> um, name the period leading up to Christmas. Merry Christmas, Advent. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> you used so many of my questions. <laughs> um, questions. It's, it's going to be fine. I just need to write a lot more questions. Um, Okay, you can all have a guess at this one. When was Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas released? Beep! Well, you can all have a guess. Oh. But you can go first, Nikki. Okay, uh, 91. You've got 91, okay. <laughs> or Alison. Oh, 89. Tiffany. I'm gonna go 87. Oh, Nikki wins. It is 94. Ah, well done, Nikki. Um, really have, should have done more <laughs> questions. Um, oh, see, I don't think you know this one either. Which town <laughs> did the Grinch try to steal Christmas from? <laughs> yes. Whoville. Yes. Oh, she's redeeming herself. Um, <laughs> I, you've literally used my question. <laughs> I will do this one. This is a good one. Which famous US political character appeared in Home Alone 2 as a cameo? Merry Christmas, Donald Trump. Yes! I'm going to leave it there because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just uh, say I'm not a Trump supporter? <laughs> it's just okay. that she knows that. Doesn't know about the Grinch's dog. Well, I don't have Nikki. children. I've not watched The Grinch. I don't watch it with the children. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, you won that round, but I don't feel you don't know how. it's a victory. <laughs> <laughs> but well done, you. What's our well, prize? To finish off this, this, um, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you all your contact details where people can find you online but before I go and find more questions. <laughs> So, Alison, where can people find you online? Uh, so, I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Enchanting Pastimes and uh, Centaur Line Equestrian. Cool. It's same on both. Excellent. Thank you very much. Tiffany, where can we find you online? Uh, best place to get hold of me is uh, Facebook, which is Ladybridge Leatherworks, um, but I'm also on Instagram, tiffany.lay.ladybridge. And you've got a website as well, haven't you? There is a website as well, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, www.ladybridgeleatherworks.co.uk. There we go. Excellent. And Nikki, where can we find all your places? Oh, God. Uh, so basically, if you just search for Sport Horse Select on Instagram or Facebook, or that's also our website, you'll find our livery yard. If you search for Equa Travel Safe on all... Uh, social medias again you'll find us on our website and then the apple crate container is our instagram handle for the bnbs and i think it is apple crate container on facebook as well but i don't think we have a website for that because i don't have enough time to build all of them <laughs> fair enough strong answer thank you very much ladies that has been an experience and um i will see you very very soon <laughs> very bye merry christmas bye if you'd like to find out more about any of the masterminders, do contact them as per their chat. And if you'd like to find more out about Mastermind, the amazing community that also helps to educate and empower all of you fabulous small business owners, head on over to riafreemanpr.co.uk and then look at Small and Supercharged Mastermind from the top menu. Have a good one. Take care.